Hello, parents, families, friends, and scholars. It's Math with Miss Marshall. Today is Monday, March 23rd, and we're going to be talking about Eureka Math Lesson 9. So go ahead and get out your instructional packets and go to Math Lesson 9. I'll give you a few seconds to do that. Today is going to be pretty simple. We're going to be reviewing what we talked about on Friday. So halves and quarters of circles and rectangles. Let's get started. To help me out today, I have Peter and Brooklyn. I gave Peter and Brooklyn some cookies and Peter broke his cookie like this. Brooklyn broke her cookie like this. Who has more cookie pieces? Pause the video to discuss the question. Press play to continue. If you said Brooklyn, you're correct. Brooklyn has four cookie pieces. Think back to the picture we just saw. How many cookie pieces does Peter have? Pause the video to discuss the question. Press play to continue. That's right, Peter only has two cookie pieces. So let's color in one of Peter's pieces. Okay, now let's color in one of Brooklyn's cookie pieces. There we go. So there's Peter's half and there's Brooklyn's fourth. Look at them side by side really quickly. Whose piece is larger? Pause the video to discuss the question. Press play to continue. Peter. Peter's piece of his cookie is larger. So let's look at Peter and Brooklyn's cookie side by side. Who has the larger number of cookie pieces? I'll read the question again because I don't want you to get tricked. Who has the larger number of cookie pieces? Pause the video to discuss the question. Press play to continue. That's right, Brooklyn has the largest number of cookie pieces. She has four cookie pieces. Peter has the smallest number of cookie pieces. He only has two pieces of cookie. So, do you want to have one half or Peter's half of the yummy cookie or one fourth or Brooklyn's fourth of the yummy cookie. Pause the video to discuss the question. Press play to continue. I don't know about you, but I would definitely want to have Peter's half of the cookie. One half of the cookie is larger than one fourth of the cookie. To get one fourth of the cookie, you need to cut the two halves of the cookie in half again. That's a lot smaller. You need to cut two fourths of the cookie to have the same amount as one half of the cookie. <laughs> Let's see if this is true with rectangles. Up, oh, Peter and Brooklyn are back again, but this time, they're not eating cookies, they're eating Hershey cookies and cream bars. Oh my goodness. So Peter broke his Hershey bar up like this. Brooklyn broke hers up the same way she did her cookie, but like that. So who has more chocolate pieces? Pause the video to discuss the question. Press play to continue.
If you said Brooklyn, you're right. Brooklyn has four pieces of chocolate. How many pieces of chocolate does Peter have? Pause the video to discuss the question. Press play to continue. Peter only has two pieces of chocolate. So let's color in one piece of Peter's chocolate. Now let's color in one piece of Brooklyn's chocolate. Whose piece is larger? Is it Peter's half or Brooklyn's fourth? Pause the video to discuss the question. Press play to continue. That's right, Peter's half is larger. Let's look at Brooklyn's chocolate pieces again. Are all of her parts equal? How much chocolate does she have in each part? Pause the video to discuss the question. Press play to continue. If you said yes, you're right. She does have equal parts. She has four equal parts or fourths. Four equal parts or fourths. Let's look at Peter's chocolate bar. Are all his parts equal? How much chocolate does he have in each part? Pause the video to discuss the question. Press play to continue. Yes, he does have equal parts. He has two equal parts or halves. Two equal parts or halves. So let's look at Peter and Brooklyn's chocolate bar again. When we cut Peter's chocolate bar, we got two halves or two equal parts. What happens to the size of our chocolate pieces when we cut it like Brooklyn's? Pause the video to discuss the question. Press play to continue. Brooklyn's pieces get smaller, right? But why does that happen? Why do you think Brooklyn's pieces get smaller? Pause the video to discuss the question. Press play to continue. It's because we cut the chocolate into more pieces. We have more parts, but each part is smaller. The piece of chocolate is the same size, so if you cut it up into more equal parts, the parts will be smaller. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. The key vocabulary is the same from yesterday, so just remember to go over that with your scholars. Always remember to contact your scholar's teacher if you have questions or concerns. We'll see you next time. And remember to stay safe and healthy and have a great day.